Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good Friday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. Uh, we're wrapping up our uh, week here in Budapest. And uh, I just wanted to do it right next to, the, in front of this building with the Servita Square building. Uh, this is an important historical area, of course, in, in Budapest, but also for commercial real estate. Just, uh, let's say, in the uh, distant past, it's uh, been very important for a few reasons, and even now. It's a super great development, developed by Horizon, Horizon Development. And uh, it's a mixed-use building. It's, it's, of course, office. It's high-end uh, high retail around the, uh, the sides and the back here. And also on the top, it's, um, it's luxury residential. So it really hit all angles of the uh, spectrum there with regards to office, um, retail, luxury living. Great place. Also, um, uh, and so... Uh, people that know uh, Horizon Development, they've done an amazing job on all their projects, and it's great to see that this one's done so so well also. And another big uh, kind of uh, interesting part, or what, what I would even say best for everybody in the sector here in, uh, um, in Budapest or in, in Hungary, is Union Investment actually bought it last year uh, and invested in it. And uh, Union Investment for... Uh, those of you that w probably have all heard of them, but they've got over 50 billion in assets uh, around Europe. Um, probably one of the biggest, one of the biggest uh, um, core. Generally, they're buying core properties uh, in in Europe, um, and they decided to come to Budapest, and that's really a landmark. Not only a landmark building, but really a landmark. Uh, of, um, investment, and it really kind of opens the doors. I would say to 2022, 2023 for international investors uh, to come to Poland. Uh, Union Invest, of course, they bought it, so they did you know, huge due diligence, not only on the building, but also on the country, and found it was really a place for them to, them to be. So I think uh, this is really, a, and so that, and that moves into 2022, where we're at now, which is really, I would say 20, end of 2022, 2023 is really a big, a big year for uh, international investors. A big time period for international investors to come to Pol to come to uh, to Hungary, see what what the products are. There's a lot of good. Uh, there's a lot of great office buildings now that are either just finishing, or have just finished and uh, leased out. So great opportunities for international investors to come. Um, we're also organizing our fourth annual CRE Awards, which has a uh, record number of investors, bankers, uh, developers attending. We're doing it here October 20th, um, two weeks after after Expo Real, a full two weeks after Expo Real. And uh, really a great opportunity if you're interested in uh, expanding into Budapest or into, uh, into Hungary. A uh, great opportunity to meet the people in the region uh, from, from Hungary, from Czech Republic, from Slovakia, from Serbia, uh, Slovenia, and all the countries around. A uh, great opportunity to meet the developers, the local, the local investors as well, and uh, just see who's, uh, see who's here. Also get an idea of what's going on with the buildings. A lot of tours. Uh, we've got our office, our office investment tour also at the same time. So. Uh, let us know if you'd want to come. There'll be the link on the, the website, but um, really a great, again, really a great uh, um, landmark project here uh, that was then sold off to Union Investment. And uh, again, congratulations to, uh, to Horizon Development. I know it's been done for a while now, but it's, uh, they're still, still working on a few things and uh, building it up. And um, anyway, enjoy. We're going to go right over to Winston now for the, uh, the Friday wrap-up of the news for... Uh, for this week and he's back in Warsaw he's at our studio there so you'll see him there and we will see you back in Warsaw on Monday ladies and gentlemen this is Craig Smith publisher of EuropaProperty.com welcome to the fourth annual Europa Property CRE Awards the only international real estate awards event based in Budapest Hungary and covering the surrounding region after a year of online events now we are finally able to meet face to face 
with our with international, regional, and local commercial real estate professionals. With over 10 countries covered, including Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovenia, Slovakia, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania and Ukraine, this will be an event not to be missed. Check out our website, creawards.net or europaproperty.com. Good Friday morning and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. And here are the highlights from the Europapoppy.com website for today. And today we'll start with Peakside Capital Advisors, uh, who have completely disposed of a 240,000 square meter portfolio of CE value-add real estate investments. Uh, the sales proceeds totaled over 160 million euros. Uh, the portfolio composed of seven, um, several retail and office properties in the Czech Republic and Poland. Uh, the properties were actively managed by the local Polish and Czech Peakside teams with a number of value-add initiatives boosting the asset's value over the holding period. Uh, currently, Peakside is focusing on the logistics and industrial sectors, uh, actively looking for new opportunities in acquiring existing assets as well as developments. And according to Michael Navarot, he's the principal of Peakside's Warsaw office, we are happy with the great performance of our CE investment venture and how we match the high expectations of the investors. Our goal is to repeat that success story as we shift the investment focus to the industrial sector where we see a number of interesting opportunities. Uh, moving on, Best Secret, a leading German internet store, is to take around 90,000 square metres in Panathony Park, Schulhof 3, with the option to further expand by another 42,000 square metres. The development is to be handed over in stages between January and June 2023. It is also to be certified under the Grand for, uh, for excellent rating. And according to projections, internet sales revenues in Europe for the fashion industry could rise to over USD 365 billion by 2025 from a figure that, that was less than half the size in 2020. And Poland is playing an important role in this growth, uh, especially in the western part of the country, which is becoming an important e-commerce fashion hub for the whole of Western Europe and particularly Germany. Staying in the warehousing uh, industrial sector and LQQ Europe, is investing in a new search warehouse in GLP Park Krakow Airport Logistics Center, uh, a large logistics park serving Western and Eastern European markets. The central warehouse will be operated by Elite Polska, part of the LQ, LKQ Europe Group. Uh, construction is expected to be completed in the second half of this year, and the commission of the new warehouse of space is scheduled for November 2022, and the transaction is brokered by Christian and Wakefield. And according to uh, Gayu Manta, CEO of Eid Posca. We are doing our best to respond to the needs of our clients in Poland so we continue to expand our logistical capabilities and improve the quality of our delivery operations. And those are the highlights from the website today. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.